Welcome to Wine Wire, everybody. My name is Adam. This is Nelson, and welcome to the place where you can find wine you can't find anywhere else, and definitely not in stores, my friends. Nelson, take it away. Thanks for joining us, everyone. This is the inaugural edition of Wine Wire TV. We're so happy that you're with us. We're so excited to get it rolling, and you know, I really feel like we should be tasting champagne today because it is the launch edition. And but that would be done, my friend. We give you something new. Yeah, try something outside okay. the. Uh... Okay, we are tasting Chardonnay, which okay, is the component of Champagne. Right. And we are tasting from a region that seems to seems to be a love affair with Ontarians, especially. Uh, we're tasting Chardonnay from California today. All right. Well, the first of our three uh, California shards is. The Four Vines Naked Chardonnay 2010 from Santa Barbara County. The big deal about this wine is it is completely unoaked. That means that it was fermented 100% in stainless steel, which preserves the freshness, the fruit, the acidity. Now, this wine was also aged on its leaves. What that means essentially is that when they let this thing ferment and to age after fermentation, they kept all the, how should I say it, put it politically correctly, the leftover stuff, the the skins, the, pit, the mud, the mud, exactly the mud. But that gives this wine a little bit of richness as well. The grapes come from a combination of Mendocino and uh, Santa Barbara County. Um, it is 13.9 percent alcohol. Uh, but let's give it a try. Nelson, what do you smell? 13.9 percent alcohol. I'm definitely going to pay attention to that because it is in the higher range of the spectrum. But you know what? I'm not picking it up very much on the nose. I'm getting a lot of really ripe fruit, particularly peach, and, and perhaps some apple fruit in there. You know, it's it's not veering far off from those descriptors, uh, but it is very lush and it really jumps out the glass. Absolutely. This is a great example of a very fresh, fruit forward, but um, well structured wine. The acidity in this wine gives it life, gives it vibrance, and that is something that really kind of jumps out of the glass at you. It has all the typical characteristics of, of what a good Chardonnay should have in terms of the fruit profile, but for me, the acidity on this wine just makes this thing extremely, extremely special. Yeah, lush peach fruit up front, and then it cleans up with that like apple acidity that, you, that you're talking about. I like that, apple acidity. Green apple acidity. <laughs> is, that, why not, why not? is it a technical term? It could be. Oh, okay then. It is now. <laughs> you know, uh, what makes this wine all the more better is the price tag. The, the wine's coming in at $21. Twenty-one forty-one, so twenty-one dollars forty-one cents per which bottle, is, which is pretty much entry level for for quality Chardonnay from uh, California. Absolutely, coming. You know, from from my mind, it's it's a it's a very good value. Uh, you're getting a lot in the glass. You're getting something that really has a lot of versatility to it. So in terms of occasion, it can just be something you open up in the afternoon to something that you bring to a party. It is a lot of application, and I think that that quite frankly, it is some drinking well right now that's the key I think yeah. you know I agree with your you know how you're gonna consume this wine but really it's it's a drink now this wine may improve over the short term a little bit uh, may come together a little more but really it's 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 a have fun wine absolutely nice product let's move on to the second one you? I think I'm gonna drink this one right now ah, all right my friend you you, you, you like yes, I, yeah, I do. <laughs> Our, our second wine, folks, is the Silver Palm Chardonnay, North Coast, California, 2009, 13.5% alcohol. I like that better than the yeah, little, 14 little moderated, eh? Yeah, especially coming from California. Mm -hmm. um, the grapes come from Mendocino and Sonoma, and uh, it says right on the back, it's a beautiful description of, of uh, how they make this wine on the back, and, and you really need to pay, pay attention to the details on the labels. Um, but minimally oaked is what I really picked up. And um, you know what? What is cool about us having this wine on the show today is that this is the first time this wine has ever been available retail because the producer makes it specifically for restaurants across North America. So, so we're special. We are. In more than one way, That's apparently. Right. <laughs> All right, my friend. You know, this right now, uh, there's definitely a little bit of oaking on this one. And when I say a little bit, I want to make sure it's a small L on the little. Uh, it's not over oaked, it's very nuanced, but the fruit is quite spectacular on this. You're getting uh, fresh melon, um, ripe apple, really delicious profile of fruit. Uh, but there's also a little bit of spiciness to it, almost like a clove note to it. And that is, is when we talk about that, that's really the oak coming through. 
Um, but it's not overwhelming and it's not muting out any of the other special flavors there. What I like about the oak characteristics in this wine, which you said are subtle, um, is that it's not your typical buttery, real, you know, lush kind of oak. It's it's spicy and it's subtle. Yeah. But look, on the palate, just like you described on the, on the nose, uh, the wine is fresh, it has beautiful structure, it holds its alcohol, uh, well balanced, um, elegant style of Chardonnay. The last one we had was was a little beefier, had a little more texture to it. Right. Um, this one's much more elegant, showing its its cool nature, cool growing nature. All right, so th let me just say one thing, because when you get to know me over the next course of the next few episodes, and hopefully out into the future, you'll notice that I'm pretty much a marketer's dream candidate. Like any time that there's a really nice label on anything, I'm like, oh, maybe I should buy that. Well, guess what? The labeling, the packaging on is stunning. And I know it has nothing to do with the quality of the wine inside, but you know, when a producer takes that special care to put something special on the bottle, that's something because it allows you to really kind of show this product off. Um, when you talk about the kind of like occasions you pull this wine out, it's a great wine for a special night at home, but it makes a great gift because it's a beautiful, beautiful bottle. And the product inside matches the quality of the product. Of the pack it's pack. also a drink now. I, I don't think Definitely. I'm gonna wait too long for this wine. I wanna open it up. It's in a good price point. Yep. I think it's a good value. So the wine comes in at $24.80 per bottle, which it, it's you no know, talking in, in comparison to the last one. You're still in that good value range. There's a lot going on. There's some complexity to this wine. Uh, I think it's a great value for Just what it is. It's a different style, really. Absolutely. And that's what it's about. It's about discovering the style that you like. So, the last wine on the hip parade. We are now jumping up in terms of price. Now, you'll and notice, and region. Uh, this is the Thomas George Estate 2009 Chardonnay from Russian River Valley. Russian River Valley, if you've heard of it before, really a great cool climate producer in the northern part of uh, sort of the main area of California that's uh, producing uh, quality grapes and quality wine, uh, specializes in Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. Um, it's a family operated winery. It's a father and son combination. Uh, they make small lots, which means that there's a real eye to quality here. Um, this particular wine is the Thomas, uh, Thomas George uh, Chardonnay. Um, it is a combination of 100% um, Chardonnay, but it was aged 90% in French oak, mm. with 20% of that new. So that new really imparts the most maximum amount of flavor. It was aged on its leaves, which means that it's going to have a certain amount of richness to it, or we expect a richness. But the key thing here, which makes this wine so special for wine wire, is that only 740 cases were produced, which this makes us a very, very special and rare wine. So, my friend Nelson, is it worth the jump to $44? Almost double in price, but look, what you got is double complexity. You've got a lot of really intricate, well tied in, integrated uh, aromatics in this wine. There's beautiful fruit there. It's subtle. This wine does not jump out of the glass. It draws you in. It makes your nose be curious. It, it, it makes you search for all the subtleties in the wine because there's nothing obvious in this wine. It's complexity. It has a beautiful bouquet. Oh yeah, man. This and I don't want to talk about it because it speaks for itself. Oh, uh, this wine is something different. Um, the the integration of how this thing is all put together. It's it, it is. It, to quote the Simpsons, it's a party in your mouth, and you really do want to be invited. Do you like that? I've been waiting like so long to use that line. It's awesome. <laughs> You but had to use it here. Didn't I you? had to because you know, God, I'm all about being appropriate. Yeah, of course. Um, this is really an exceptional mm. wine. There's complexity. There's spiciness. The fruit is well integrated. The oak is well integrated, and there's layers as this thing sort of develops in your mouth from the finish. It just keeps giving and giving and giving. Um, this one could, could age a little bit. I wouldn't be putting it away for 10, 15 years. Like a couple of years of bottle aging here would be great. Absolutely, and you know what? This is not. The wine you're going to take to your neighbor's barbecue, most likely. It's the wine you're going to have with your significant other when you want to set a tone, set a mood, when you have friends over, family over, and it's really about quality time. This is the type of bottle I want to have. I'm proud to put this on the table for those types of occasions and, you know, and, and really just savor it. Absolutely. Beautiful. This is the wine to bring out for the nice dinner with your wife or partner. There you go. But this is, uh, this is something good. Yeah. All right, well, we come to the point of the show where we really have to kind of lay it on the table. Um, every show, Nelson and I take a look at the three wines we've tasted, and we pick the wine that we like, Adam's pick and Nelson's pick. 
Um, I'm going to do mine first, just because my name is A and starts with, you know, alphabetical. Um, a lot of things start with A. <laughs> That's not nice. <laughs> you asked for it. My All pick, right. Adam's pick, is the Four, Brian, Four Vines Naked Chardonnay. And the reason, how, how did I know? Well, the reason is it's fresh. And I, I love that freshness. I love that acidity. I love the, the, the balance between fruit and, and that uh, liveliness. For me, it was a great value. It's got a lot of applications. And I was a real big fan of this. And uh, I'm getting behind this one. That's right. Well, if you're paying attention while we're <laughs> If testing. I was paying attention. <laughs> I I, we often struggle with that. Yes, I know. Look, this is the best wine in the flight we've had today. It is also the most expensive wine. It's almost double the value of the others, but I'm happy to pay for it, and I'm happy to you know, bring it out to some guests uh, that come over to my house. So this is my pick of the day. Fantastic wine, great value. Folks, you can buy all of the wines that we just tasted and talked about today on our site. The agents will send them directly to your door. That is the beauty of shopping at Wine Wire. And Adam, do you want to add anything else? You know something, we've, we've built this site for you. Uh, as Nelson said, the links to all the ones we discussed in, in today's video and all the future videos are directly below us right here. Check them out, read the reviews, buy them, buy the case, enjoy them over a period of time. But uh, we hope you enjoyed today's show. Um, we will be back in a couple of days with a brand new show, Three More Wands, and you know, Get in touch with us. If you like the wines, share it with us. If you don't like the wines, let us know. If you, want if you don't like Adam, it's okay too. You can let us know that. Yeah, if you don't like me, get in line. Don't worry <laughs> about it. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming. We will see you in a couple days, and uh, we hope you enjoy WineWire and WineWire TV. Let's get it going. Are we good? Thanks, folks. All right.